cap and a hat are historical headgears that have been worn for many years and for different purposes. However, they are usually mistakenly used interchangeably by those clueless about their differences. Although they look almost alike, there are key differences between these head coverings as the article discloses. A hat is the first headgear and it gives a sense of authority when worn. Originally, it was worn for purposes of sheeting the sun and giving warmth. Nowadays it uses a bold fashion statement where women and men wear it on numerous occasions. In some parts of the world, the hat is being used to denote ranks among law enforcement officers or as part of the uniform. Other societies wear hats for religious or ceremonial gatherings and purposes. The hat is characterized by a shaped crown and a brim that circles it. It does not have the visor as does the cat. Hats are available in different sizes and shapes. Women-specific hats, for instance, have decorations and wider brims. Women are accustomed to wearing hats more than men do due to the main reason of shading the sun because the harmful UV rays can damage their skin tones. In police or military departments, the stylistic difference between women and men hats is insignificant. The main purpose, which is rank denotation, is important. These hats generally have small brims. The hats designed to shade the sun have broader rims to protect the face from UV rays. Some common types of hats include the bowler hat, fedora hat, panama hat, flosh hat, cowboy hat, and top hat. This emergence of different types of hats has evolved recently. Each type of the hat may bear a different shape with the brim being the crux of the differences. A cap is basically a brimless type of a hat. Its distinction is seen with the peak in the visor at the front. Old school caps used to have a mesh at the back in the visor. Today's designs come in different sizes and designs, but the shape remains uniform all over. Note that the knitted ski caps may have no visors, which can be confusing if visors are the only identifications of caps. The clear distinction is that caps never have brands. Like hats, caps are worn for different purposes. The visor plays a significant role blocking the sunlight to the face. Depending on the material used for construction, caps can provide warmth during winter seasons. The caps with vents help ventilate the head and reduce any accumulation of sweat because caps fit snugly on the head. They have a flat crown that fits tightly on the head. Different types of make come with varying enclosures. It could be Velcro, elastic or plastic at the back. The size does not really matter when purchasing caps because they are adjustable to fit everyone's head. The common cap types include baseball cap, cricket ball cap, and golf cap. Unlike hats, caps do not denote ranks that are seldom used as uniform except in sport. The crown of the caps is hard for embroidery purposes, especially for sports teams. The visor is also hard to successfully block sunlight. A headgear characterized by different brim sizes and shaped crowns with no visor. A headgear characterized by an unshaped flat crown, a peak and a visor. It does not have a brim. A cap is softened. It's a circular shape covering with a shaped crown and a brim encircling it. It's a covering with no shaped crown. Its crown fits snugly on the head. Used to shade the sun, make a fashion statement, worn for ceremonial or religious purposes. They can also be worn as part of uniform usually by military and police personnel. The hat can denote ranks within such law enforcement positions. They can be used to block sunlight to the face. Different designs allow for use as a fashion headgear. Women rarely put on caps unless it's in sport as caps are prevalent in baseball, cricket, and golf. 